If you're looking for a new way to make delicious food from scratch using fresh ingredients, then you need our Deluxe Cooking Blender. It's an innovative kitchen appliance with a powerful motor that not only lets you blend the smoothest smoothies and grind nuts into nut butter, but also helps you cook hot pureed soups, sauces from scratch, and even homemade jam. We designed the Deluxe Cooking Blender to have pre-programmed settings to take the guesswork out of cooking. With the smoothie setting, you can blend the smoothest smoothies in one minute. The alternative milk setting lets you make your own almond milk and oat milk. The grind setting grinds nuts into nut butter and wheat berries into freshly milled flour for pancakes. The soup setting turns your favorite raw veggies into a rich, creamy soup in about 30 minutes. The heated puree setting blends and cooks raw veggies into a delicious puree. With the sauce setting, you can upgrade your weeknight dinners with fresh, homemade sauces. And with the jam setting, you can make homemade jam in under an hour. The custom blend setting lets you blend however you want. You can control the speed of the blender so you can make milkshakes, frozen drinks, and even nice cream. The custom heat setting is the only setting that lets you adjust the temperature. It's perfect for holding food at the temperature you want before serving it. Now that you know about our settings, let's try one of them out. I'm going to use the soup setting to make a sweet potato soup. Add all the ingredients into the pitcher, starting with the liquid first, then seasonings, and finishing off with our vegetables. The thing I love about this setting is that I don't have to be very precise about the way I cut my food because the blender will do all the work for me. When you're ready to cook, lock the lid. You'll hear a click when it's secure. Then use the wheel to select the soup setting and press the wheel to start. The pitcher will be hot during and after cooking, so don't touch the glass. While the soup is coming to a boil, the blades will spin and cut the food down into smaller pieces until it creates this creamy consistency. Now that you've seen the cooking feature of the blender, I want to show off the power of the motor with the grind setting. All it takes to make smooth, creamy peanut butter is one ingredient. Just add the roasted peanuts into the pitcher, lock the lid, and select the grind setting. Then press the wheel to start. About halfway through, you'll notice the peanuts climbing up the sides of the pitcher. This is when you'll want to use the tamper to push the nuts back into the blades. You'll only need to do this for a few seconds and no more than 30 seconds at a time to avoid overheating the motor. If you hear the motor start to really slow down, remove the tamper and let it get back up to speed. Now just watch as it turns into rich, smooth peanut butter. You can use the heated wash setting to clean the pitcher. Just add three cups of water to the pitcher. Then add one to two drops of liquid dish soap. Lock the lid and select the heated wash setting and press the wheel to start. This will take about five to 10 minutes and makes your cleanup so much easier. As you can see, our blender makes your kitchen prep simpler and your cook time faster it will quickly become your new go-to kitchen product. The more you use it, the more you'll love it.